one of the, the biggest threats to large pieces of land in rural countryside is subdivision, is single family homes. And it's often something that someone doesn't want to see happen to, to their property, to the legacy of their family. If you want to preserve this for the next generation, probably the only way you can do it, I'm thinking, is to have a conservation easement on it. You can have land that is donated to Alachua Conservation Trust. You can sell land to Alachua Conservation Trust. And then we have a tool called the conservation easement. And the conservation easement is a permanent agreement, a contractual document that restricts the deed of land. The main restriction is that the conservation trust would then own the development rights. Fundamentally, that is the thing that we're restricting. But a conservation easement is a, is a beautiful way for a landowner to be able to preserve old family land, land that has a lot of meaning, land that they want to pass down to their children. Yeah, we've been out here a long time. The family would come out a lot, picnic out here. I think there were wild blueberries out here, and my mom would come out and we'd pick them. And it's just, yeah, a lot of good memories, a lot of good memories. You can still rent your land, sell your land, mortgage your land. A lot of these inherent basic property rights are maintained. The folks who are thinking about an easement, I mean, there's got to be a deep love for the property. I mean, really deep love for the property. We got something blooming. Oh, yeah, already got something blooming. They want to see it, one, protected uh, from a changing of use uh, or, or perhaps a, a unique feature on the property they want to see protected, but it's also per, uh, perhaps wanting to see it uh, a legacy uh, for the property, you know, going into the family. And at some point, you know, the, the family may not own it, you know, 100 years down the road, obviously. But to know that that property has been uh, kept from what a lot of, uh, you know, Florida, especially on the uh, development areas, uh, has turned into. And we're getting a lot of folks moving to Florida all the time now. To know that we've actually saved a bit of this property is really a, a, a wonderful and unique thing. What is unique about a conservation easement, it doesn't allow public access. That property on the day-to-day -day stays in that private management, is owned by that family. And when we set down a path to work with a family to determine how to protect their land, we're forming a relationship. We're looking at the best possible scenario to help them achieve their goals, but protect our goals of conservation value. Well, I found a lateral conservation trust was very, very open. Uh, you're not dealing with a, a federal agency. Uh, you're not dealing with a state agency. However, obviously there's, there's things involved that um, uh, they have to deal with uh, for those groups also. So you're really dealing with somebody or a group that is uh, on the same page as I think as you, as your, as your thoughts. But that's the beauty of working with a land trust is they can find something that fits you. And I think with every individual landowner it's going to be a completely different package of grants that you get for these conservation easements. Alachua Conservation Trust, as a nonprofit, we're able to move quickly often and pull together a lot of partnerships and leverage resources to, to make a project go through, to get the funding to pull all the pieces together and, and facilitate it to its end. They walk you through it. They're gonna hold your hand, essentially, uh, and guide you through the steps of the process of the easement. If you decide that ultimately you want that land protected, you want it to stay together, you don't want it to be subdivided, this is a very, very strong tool to meet that reality.